So um, welcome everyone uh, the, for the third online transformative tech uh, Amman um, event. Uh, we're hosting uh, 360 Moms, uh, hosting the founder, Lina uh, Abdul Majid. Um, for uh, those who don't know, Transformative Technology is a, an NGO that focuses on uh, supporting entrepreneurs and innovators who are leveraging tech for mental health, well-being, and joy. So uh, let's just start uh, with Dina. Please, Dina, uh, introduce yourself and uh, feel free to share the screen and uh, to talk. Yeah. Sure, sure. So uh, I will share my screen. Uh, I have just prepared a short deck, so it will be uh, more enjoyable uh, to go through uh, the, the, the talk. So just give me one minute. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. So uh, I want to first thank you for joining us today. And uh, I hope that uh, you will enjoy the talk and feel uh, of value of, uh, of what I will talk about today. Um, I'm Dina, uh, the founder and CEO of uh, 360 Moms. Previously, uh, the head of the creative uh, team in the Middle East and Africa in Atiyahu. Um, and prior to that, I was an art director in multinational advertising agencies. Uh, I have 18 years of experience um, focusing on online digital media, user experience, online advertising, branding, online and offline uh, design. So my educational background, I have a BA in uh, graphic design. So I'm more of artistic. I'm also, uh, so, so this is uh, me, the professional me. And this is also me, the mother. I'm also a mom of two children who are my inspiration to start 360 Moms. So uh, this is 360 Moms. Uh, so what is it exactly? It's a modern trusted scientific online platform to support and empower mothers increasing the level of better child's care physically, emotionally, and mentally. We have launched the website uh, four years ago, uh, which includes topics in parenting, children's health, and nutrition. We are currently building uh, the first and only smart mobile application to support parents with instant answers about their children's uh, mental and physical health in addition to their mental and physical health as well. Uh, we will launch uh, next month. So uh, keep, uh, stay tuned, please check it out. Uh, it will be really, really amazing. It will be more personalized and um, it will really give answers about what you need. So our long-term vision is for better uh, health and well-being for millions of families living in the world uh, through supporting and empowering parents by creating a complete support ecosystem. So this is about 360 moms. Um, and also just to mention that it's, when I started it, it started, uh, it started as a need and I, I will tell you more about it, but I don't usually like to refer to 360 Moms as a business because it's more of a passion. Uh, sometimes I feel like business is undermining what I'm trying to do at 360 Moms. We are a company that believe in making a positive impact on parents' lives and most importantly on, uh, on our children's future. So how it all started? It all started uh, when I gave birth uh, to my second son. Um, and I have, I had challenges with my children um, and I really tried to get advice from everyone around me. Um, and I even tried going online and uh, getting advice, but I have noticed two things. 
sometimes uh, friends and family, they mean well, but they don't know uh, what they're talking about sometimes. Uh, number two, that I have found sadly that uh, the online platforms in the Arab region are really outdated and uh, not, re not reliable, not trusted regarding uh, parenting issues and children's health. Uh, that's why I decided that I wanted to do it myself and I wanted to gather the best experts in the region and even experts outside the Arab region to help us get the updated uh, knowledge regarding our uh, children's health and to help us uh, mothers and fathers through this journey um, to, get, uh, to give our children a better future. So regarding uh, investments and how we uh, we got we grew as a as a business, it was very hard uh, at the beginning because um, most investors uh, did not believe in us, and they thought that we're just uh, a content uh, based project that no one will will be interested in. Um, but I really, really believed in, in the vision of 360 Moms. I saw it really clearly. And, uh, and I told them that you'll see, you'll see, and we'll get there and you'll see the impact that we are uh, working on. Uh, luckily, uh, our audience, they proved what we are talking about. And we had uh, hundreds of thousands of mothers uh, tuning in every single day to 360 moms, uh, getting advice, getting support, um, and telling us how much we've been helping them. So one advice for any business uh, owner or anyone who wants to start a business, if you really, really believe in your idea, just go for it. Don't listen to, to people trying to get you down. Uh, if you know that there is a need, and if you really believe in the impact, go for it. So how did I become a businesswoman uh, with no business background? And this is something that when I first started uh, thinking about 360 Moms, many people, they discouraged me uh, into starting 360 Moms, telling me that um, you don't have any, any business background. I think you need some partners that can help you, but I don't think you can do it on your own uh, and so on. Uh, but I believe that I can do it. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, it's st I'm still learning every single day. Um, but you can do it. Everybody can do it. Uh, I have, I, I'll tell you five things that I have done. One, I have read many books about entrepreneurship, about businesses, about successful businesses, and uh, even the failures of businesses and lessons learned. Uh, there are so so many books, I think you can have so many, a lot of mentorship uh, from so many businesses out there that told their story. And so many business books that are really helpful and, and telling us about businesses, even in, in business schools, so things that you really don't learn there. This is one. So I have really read a lot. I'm still reading uh, every day. I'm, I have met also with many successful entrepreneurs and business uh, people, women and men, and I have learned from th their successes and from their failures. Uh, I still meet a lot of them until now. So I really advise that you approach, uh, approach people. Uh, don't be afraid to, to ask for help and advice. Uh, it can really, really help you. Um, I have also attended some business workshops uh, and courses, and that helped a lot. Um, it helped in many ways in, in working on a business plan, on working on a financial plan, on, on uh, dealing with legal uh, issues regarding business. So there are many, many things that you can, uh, you can benefit. And there are a lot of online uh, workshops that you can attend. Uh, if you can't attend personally. I have also uh, been connected to incubators and accelerators. So those, they help a lot in partnerships. They help a lot in, in giving you connections with mentors. Um, 
and and actually they support in anything usually you need as a startup uh, and as a new business owner. So I do recommend uh, you do that. Um, and the fifth uh, thing that I have done is that I keep learning every single day. I I look for I keep looking for sources that will help me. Um, so that's why I'm telling you that anybody with a passion, anybody with an idea that can can create an impact on the community, and you know there's a need for it, even if you don't have a business background, you can do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I will also share my seven rules of being a mentally balanced working mother. Before I do, I want to share also our values uh, at 360 Moms. Uh, I do recommend every, uh, every company to have values that are written and that you really believe in and you share with the employees and, and you share with your audience. So uh, the first one is uh, happy parents mean happy kids. So the better uh, you take care of yourself, the happier, you, the happier you are, the happier your kids will be. So sometimes we do that mistakes as moms and dads that we focus only on the kids and we forget ourselves. And then we realize that we're not happy, um, that we have neglected ourselves. Something is wrong. But when you thrive and we, you take care of yourself, which is something also I will get to now, um, you will see that it will reflect on the whole family. Um, so the second one is healthy hearts and minds. We believe that clean nutrition for moms and the little ones uh, is linked directly to the phys- physical growth and development uh, and the strength of our hearts and minds. We believe in health and we believe in a healthy lifestyle for both the mother and kids. We believe in balance. We believe in storytelling. That's why we, uh, we not only uh, list the scientific facts at 360 Moms. We do believe in that. We do believe in experts. We have more than 100 experts that write regularly with us and we believe in them. But we also believe in, in storytelling and the, the stories of mothers and the experiences of mothers. Um, we can learn a lot from each other uh, and we can uh, benefit from anything from the successes of, uh, of each other and from the failures of each other. And we believe also in, in continuous knowledge. So uh, we believe that uh, knowledge is power. And um, when we read and when we watch uh, updated information uh, about our health, our children's health, mentally, physically, and emotionally, uh, this is very powerful. And this will help you uh, raise a successful, happy generation. Um, so th- this is why we have started 360 Moms. We want to empower parents to really know uh, the updated information, to know the facts, to know what, what to do, not just to rely on family and friends uh, for information. Uh, so these are the values that we believe in and we always keep on mind. We believe um, not only in, that's why I'm telling you that sometimes I don't like to refer to 360 Moms as a business because sometimes businesses, you just want to go fast and just succeed. While uh, at 360 Moms, we, we always have this uh, motto is that the quality is the most important value uh, the quality of, of the content that we uh, give to parents is the most important thing. And uh, we will keep these values until we keep growing and growing. So I'll go back now to this, my seven uh, rules of being a mentally ba- balanced working mother. So uh, in other words, my advice for, mom, for moms and dads for a happy, balanced life. So yes, I do believe that I have some balance in my life uh, regarding my career and my family. And I'll tell you how I do that. One, I really, really believe in writing your goals. Um, Always have goals. 
and you can write yearly goals you can write weekly goals you can write uh, monthly goals but always have goals that you keep following and they will guide you towards what you want uh, and you can have uh, two kinds of goals you can have personal goals and you can have uh, professional goals keep referring back to them keep checking back and, and read them just write them and and you will see the the subconscious will work towards reaching those goals and i'll tell you something every time that i write goals for the year most of them came true so uh, go ahead and write your goals so two is prioritize um, prioritizing is very, very important. I know that everyone has so many things to do during the day and it really helps when you have a list and the list is prioritized. So you start with the most important things or the things that are more difficult. And for me, and that I think makes me more efficient, I always write a list at night. Uh, before I start, and so that when I start the day the next morning, I find my list ready and I just start working on it. I don't waste time in the morning thinking of what to do. I know what I'm doing because I have been through it the night before. So you can do it. You don't have to do it at night. You can do it at the end of your professional day or at, in the afternoon. It's up to you. But it's really, really, really helps when you have a list and it's prioritized. Um, sometimes it's, I tell you, there's a book that I have read and it helped me a lot. It's the seven habits of highly effective people. And, uh, it helps you prioritize, um, your life. So maybe this could, could help if you can read it and it can help you with the important versus urgent because they're not the same. And then uh, it's really, really helpful when you have a support system and don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, you, can, you can get your mother to help with your kids. You can get your sister, your friends, family. Uh, um, it's, it's good for your kids as well to get these kinds of relationships. So don't feel guilty if you, if you keep your kids sometimes with your family. Enjoy it and let your kids enjoy it as well. Uh, number four, involve your kids in what you do. So, for example, uh, when I, I have to, for example, uh, be late uh, getting home because I have a meeting or, be, or maybe I need to travel and, and I won't see them for a week, I do sit with my kids, even when they were really small. I have, my kids now are eight and six. So even when they were toddlers, I would sit with them and tell them, mommy has to be away because I have work and I even involved them in a very simple way, depending on the age, what my work is and what, what benefits will it do? Um, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And so on. This helps them be really involved in what you do in what you do and they, they know why you're doing it and they understand it makes them understand more why you're doing it. So sometimes when I get back from a meeting, because I already shared with my, my son, he gets back and he asked me, asks me for, about details. Did they say yes about your proposal and so on? It's really nice. It's so nice to, to have, yeah, to have this, this kind of involvement uh, with your kids. And they will understand when, you, uh, when you're away or you have to go to a meeting, uh, while if you just tell them, I'm just going, um, it's, it's work, uh, they will not understand and they will hate your work. But if you just explain it, they will understand. Yeah. Um, so this one is really, really, really important. And maybe you'll say, of course, it's, it's something that we know. But sometimes we, we do, uh, any, we don't give it priority. We don't give ourselves priority, but we can. And I have heard from many moms, including myself before, that I don't have time to take care of myself. I don't have time to do anything, but you do have time. You can make time. So um, even for 30 minutes of walking uh, or, or talking with a friend, 
or reading a good book for 30 minutes or drawing or having a new hobby. This ma makes all the difference in the world. And I do recommend that you uh, exercise. Exercise is not only good for you physically, it's also very important for you mentally. It makes you happier, it makes you calmer, um, it, it makes you, um, it makes you, uh, it gives you strength and uh, gives you uh, power to deal with uh, things uh, and you can, you feel like stronger. Um, I can tell you that because it's been two years that I have been very committed to exercise. I exercise from three to four times a week and it has made me much, much happier. And it doesn't mean that I'm away from my kids. If you are saying I have small kids and so on, you can do it from home. Uh, there are many great videos. If you're interested, I can share with you the videos that I follow. Or you can have, uh, you can just walk every day. If you have a baby, you can put a stroller and just walk around. Uh, there are many ways of doing exercise um, and you can find the time. For me, I do it uh, in the morning at seven in the morning uh, before I start working. So for others, maybe they can have it at night uh, or in the afternoon. It depends on you, but you can have time uh, when you're around the kids to do exercise. You can put even dance moves and you can dance around with your kids. You can do many things, but it's really, really uh, empowering. So exercise, I think it's, it's a must for everyone. Um, and also taking care of yourself means getting enough sleep. It's uh, very challenging when uh, I say this to, to mothers of newborns, and I know that, um, but take, get support, uh, get help. Um, get, get your mom to help during the day and get a nap. Uh, get your husband to wake up sometimes during the night. So uh, I do recommend getting enough sleep because this, not getting enough sleep, I think you know that it makes us very tense um, and, and we will not have this power to, to deal with things uh, and to deal with our family or even our work. So um, getting enough sleep is very, very important. Quality time with your kids with your family. So I believe in quality time versus uh, quantity. So some, some moms who are even stay at home moms, uh, which, are, which is totally okay, but sometimes they underestimate the time that they spend with their family because they're always there and they don't give attention to them. So it doesn't mean when you're working that you will not have good relationships and good time with your kids and your family. It depends on how focused you are when you are with them, how you're enjoying your time and you're really, really interested in what they're saying and, and what they're doing. And, and be silly sometimes, play games like kids and, and do where any, you can, you can play with them, the games, the kids games that they are playing and you will really, really enjoy uh, your time with them, read together, uh, sing together, dance together, um, have a nice time together. This is what counts. This is really, really what counts. And then the last thing is, it all depends on you. You have the choice to be happy. You have the choice to be uh, productive. You have the choice to be even sad. Um, we all have a choice. Uh, we choose to be negative or we choose to be positive. Um, it's, it's, it all depends on you. I do advise that you follow your passion. Don't forget about what you love. Don't forget about your dreams, um, what you're good at at life. Um, everyone is good at something, right? Everyone enjoys something. So... Don't forget about that. Don't forget about yourself. Um, do something that you love. If you like writing, go ahead. Maybe you can be a book author. If you love drawing, you can start even courses online. Um, and if you're good at sales or with people, go ahead and do it. 
a lot, and I think we have learned from the COVID is that so many things can be done online. So many things. So you can do a lot of things online uh, if you can't go ahead and go out of the house. Um, and don't, don't, don't think that because I'm a woman or I'm a mother that my career is very limited. Uh, dream big and follow your dreams. And I can tell you one, uh, an experience of mine before I end the presentation is when I got pregnant with my first uh, son, I was really nervous about getting back to work. Really, really nervous. I was thinking, I don't think I can handle it because um, I've been praying for this baby for a while and I'm really happy about being a mother and I want to give him my all and I don't want to be a bad mother. But being a working mom is not, is not equal to a bad mother. So um, when I got, I was in the maternity and I was thinking about that. And then I got back to work and <laughs> he's, my, he's my son. And, um, and this, this is my son that I'm talking about actually. The first, the first born son. Hi, Hashem. Hi, Hashem. Hi, Bekulaka. Okay, this is awesome. Hi. <laughs> okay. So um, when I got back to work, I felt, no, I had like a big uh, um, energy, positive energy of that. I remembered that I love my job. I remembered that I'm good at my job. And I remembered that I really, really need time for myself. Uh, at the same time, I, I want to be with my, my baby and I want to take care of him. Um, so what I did is I, I told my management that, I want to have a flexible system where I can come in the morning and work and then I can continue working from home and I want to be with my, with my newborn. And they were fine. And I was very productive and efficient that I was promoted because I was really, really passionate about what I was doing. But at the same time, I didn't feel guilty because I was with my baby. So you can, you can work around... Uh, your needs, and you can um, do what makes you more productive and work around it. Don't, don't just give up and say, I don't have a choice. It's not working with me. You have many choices. Uh, think of options. Think of um, what, what makes you happy and with what works for you. So this is it. The, this is uh, my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, I'm ready. Uh, thank you, Dina. This is really um, very inspiring. Um, I really thank uh, you, Rania. I, I am inspired, really. Um, I have a, a couple of questions. Um, yeah. First, um, I would like uh, f to um, uh, let's say focus on this, on the importance of what you do on um, uh, guiding parents. Uh, for more mental health for their children. Yesterday yeah. I was listening to a podcast uh, for a psychologist and he said that um, if you are not capable of bringing healthy ch children and raise them in a, min in a good conditions mentally mm -hmm. and physically and in, mm -hmm. in every con uh, aspect of life, so please consider your decision before bringing children. So what you do is very important in providing this uh, scientific-based and um, revised um, uh, advices for parents. And uh, it's really, um, I can see the passion in your eyes. And so this is really, um, um, I just wanted to stress that it's very important. And the other thing is that I want uh, to know more about uh, the revenue streams that uh, you use to monetize um, uh, 360 months. And to talk yeah. more about um, the, in the, the investment journey that you uh, um, went through, because you know um, we are in Jordan, um, maybe we have an, a developing ecosystem for entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. and um, we are growing. We we we, can, we we cannot say that we are mature like other ecosystems, but we have this uh, developing ecosystem. So um, you may th talk um, um, talk more about this. Okay. Um, yeah. So, okay. 
So I'll I'll get into one point at a time. So yes, uh, Rania, I do agree that it's very very important to have aware uh, parents that that really know about parenting, that really know about how to deal with kids, and uh, you know our parents they did a good job, but this is a different uh, uh, word, a different generation. We can't uh, we can't do exactly what our parents did because i always hear that my mom did this and i'm fine but that was a different generation and we can't deal with our kids the same way so you have to be we have to be updated we have to uh, uh read about what's happening uh, the right approaches of uh, of working with children if you don't like to read watch videos there are so many videos ar- uh, around this uh, so you can read about positive parenting um, um, and being a mindful parent. So being a mindful parent means that all your focus is around and you're very aware of what you're doing and what you're saying and how you're dealing with your kids uh, and your feelings. You're aware of your feelings and you can even get your kids to be mindful as well. Um, we should talk a lot about how you feel and how they feel and describe um, feelings when, they, when we talk to them. Um, this is all important in raising mentally uh, um, balanced children and this will directly reflect on, on the well-being of the kids and their future. So yes, it's very, very important. And we do that we uh, we offer all the knowledge in different ways. Uh, we don't only offer it in form of webinars, videos, um, uh, live videos, um, Q and A to uh, to our experts. So we have many ways of uh, of doing that. Uh, I do recommend that you go to uh, to our channel and check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. So regarding the revenue streams, um, and this was uh, challenging, but you can, you can do something about it uh, because everybody told me, uh, like I mentioned before, that content is really challenging. Um, it's not easy to monetize and so on and so on. What helped me is uh, first, when I was working at Yahoo, our team was uh, in charge of monetizing content. So I knew that I can monetize the content when I started 360 months. Um, we, we have three revenue streams. One is branded content and online advertising, and we do it in a very unique way without the direct way of, of uh, advertising. Mm-hmm. The second way of advertising uh, of, of revenue is uh, the, the workshops and webinars. Uh, so workshops, usually uh, parents, they uh, pay to attend, but we have reasonable fees and sponsors, they pay to, be, to sponsor the, the workshops. While in webinars, they are free for uh, attendees to attend, but the, we have sponsors to them. The third uh, way of uh, revenue is the rewards card program. We have a program under 360 months. It's called Mama's Rewards. It's basically a discount card that uh, offers discounts uh, on everything they need, including hospitals, medical centers, educational centers, uh, baby products, even fashion. So it includes everything they need, uh, every services and products they need for themselves and for their kids. Um, so this is, these are the three revenue streams that we have. Um, any business can think of creative ways of uh, having revenue as long as they give, they have value to the customers and they need them, then they can, they can find uh, a unique revenue way that belongs to them. Uh, regarding investments, luckily, if someone wants to start a business now, you will find more support than five years ago, much more. Uh, um, when I started 360 Moms, of course, it started preparing for it. And there was very limited options. Uh, now, there are many, many, many options. Uh, you can find um, incubators uh, in Jordan. 
you can find uh, even uh, telecommunications companies, all of them, they support entrepreneurs. Um, you can find even, you can find many, many, many uh, online even uh, um, uh, organizations that believe in entrepreneurship. And especially uh, if you have an impact that is regional or, uh, or international. Uh, they will give you all the support and they will help you expand. Uh, of course, you need to work really well. Um, you need to know something that many doors will close in your face. Many, many, many doors. So sometimes when I tell someone about um, what we have done, they, t they tell me, whoa, you're so lucky that you got all this support or you, you did this. Or... But I tell them, you don't know the news in my life until I, I got the yes. Yeah. I had so yeah. many no's, so many closed doors in my face. So don't give up. So keep that on mind. When someone uh, starts a business or work towards the entrepreneurship uh, journey, you need to know that uh, you will have a lot of closed doors, but don't give up. And you will, you will find eventually some doors to open and you will find opportunities that are great. Um, and then also I would... Uh, if anybody's interested, I can send later uh, a list of books that were very helpful to me about business and entrepreneurship and so on. I have so many books to, to recommend, so I can also send this as well. I have uh, mentioned my email here, so if you have any questions of, or you want to know more about the books that I have read or uh, the incubators or the support that you can get in Jordan or even in the in the Gulf area, I can send you a list and I can send you links. Um, so yes, so please email me anytime. Yeah, very interesting. And uh, I would like also to uh, to comment on what you uh, talked about um, uh, the company va values um, here in uh, Transformative yeah. Tech. We used to have uh, Transformative Tech Academy where a lot of uh, uh, advisors and mentors, uh, mentor um, founders uh, for transformative tech. And they, there was um, specific sessions on how to create the, com uh, the, uh, the, the company values and the culture, which yeah. really is connected to the founder culture and values. So this is really uh, was uh, useful and interesting. And I would like uh, to open uh, the, the door for any question or comment from the participants. Please feel free to share your thoughts with us and or any questions. Anyway, if you have any question, um, do you have a support yeah, network done, for other? Uh, uh, we have a question from Dondina. Do you have a support network of other women founders? How did you find them? Okay. So what is your experience? Yeah, I, yes, I have been part of, uh, um, and I'm still part of a support uh, network. Uh, I'm part of She Entrepreneur, which is a Sweden uh, organization. And uh, they focus on female uh, founders. So you can check them online. She Entrepreneur, I write it here. Um, she Entrepreneur. Uh, check them out online. They're great. And uh, they give mentorship and they give uh, guidance and they give workshops. And it's, it's, it's really nice to be connected with the female, uh, female network. Uh, plus, I have been part of some groups uh, of female uh, founders that we meet. We used to meet on a regular basis and then we stopped. But it was nice to have support uh, from each other and to get advice from each other. So anybody, I think, can start that. Um, and there are other networks. There is uh, Wemina, if you're interested in them. Um, I'll write their name as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so luckily there are uh, some networks that really focus on females um, so I do recommend them and there are um, you can you can I think even if you just uh, search you will find a lot online yeah interesting any other uh, question you're welcome 
Um, there's a question from Noma. Yeah. How have you dealt with the mom guilt as a working entrepreneur with your own business in regards to working and following your dream, but also being a mother? <laughs> this is a very important question, Noma. Thank you. Um, so I think it, it depends on the on the balance that you create. Um, I remember something that I told myself before I, actually when, when my son was uh, small, I was uh, working at the time at Yahoo. Uh, I was enjoying my work and I was doing well, but you know what, inside, deep inside, I didn't feel that it was my dream. It was not my dream. And I didn't know what my dream was at the time, uh, but I'm living it now. So um, I was thinking I will never start my own business until my, my kids are teenagers. And I will just wait uh, because I know that it will take a lot of time from me and I don't think it's the right time. But you know what? When my second son was six months old, I started 360 Moms. Um, I started it and it was from my own home. And uh, my son actually was with me <laughs> most of the time. Uh, so it's, I know it's not a typical case. Um, some, some, any, sometimes you need to work directly from the office and so on. So if your kids are, um, older, you can have the balance of, uh, of having flexible working, uh, places. So you don't need to work from the office all the time. Um, you can come in the afternoon and work around your kids or if they're small, it depends. You know, for me, when they were really little, uh, the afternoon was completely to them, was dedicated to them. Uh, and I used to, uh, until now, I work at night, but I used to have only the, the afternoons for them when they were little. Now, when they're older, I can work when they're around me and they're playing. So I know that they're fine, they're playing and I'm working. Um, and when I have time, for them, I make sure that it's really quality time and that I'm focused on them. Not that I'm, for example, um, working along them uh, and I'm telling them that I'm, um, that I'm playing with them. This is not playing. When I'm uh, watching the phone all the time and just checking emails and at the same time, I'm telling them that I'm playing with them. This is not quality time. I need to leave my phone on the side uh, and I need to focus on, on really playing with them and really having a, a, a good time with them. And they really appreciate it. And they know when you're focused on them and they know when you really, really give them attention. Uh, so I think quality time with your kids is very, very important. Um, take them out uh, sometimes. Um, so and maybe after they sleep, you can get back and catch up on the work that you have missed. This is something that's essential for me since I, was, I became a mother, that I always work at night. Uh, you can, of course, make exceptions if you want to go out or have a, a movie night or anything. But for me, this, what, this is what works. I catch up and I'm, I'm very productive at night and I catch up on work at night. So I think you need to find a way of uh, balancing uh, time with your kids versus your work. Yeah, interesting. Thank you, Dina. Um, I have a question um, from your um, experience and um, the stories that came through you. And uh, I know that um, uh, what keeps you going on uh, the impact that you see on um, uh, on people. So, what is the most impactful thing or story that you? Uh, see that yes, I am doing my uh, purpose in life, and this is this is it. Uh, there are many, many, many stories. So one of them is that um, we have really supported mothers of uh, special needs children, and I mm -hmm. think they are the the mothers that really, really impacted me um, of how strong they are with their children of how inspiring they are. They are amazing, 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 strong women. And they have shared their stories with us and they have inspired many, many other moms that are in the same situation. So I think yeah. this is one of the uh, stories and uh, impact that I was really moved by. And 
I really, I'm really, really happy when I know that we have helped other moms by sharing these strong mother, mother's uh, stories. Yeah, very, very beautiful. Personally, I am proud of you, Dina, and uh, what you're doing and that thank you are. Thank you, Rania. Yes, so thank you. Thank Any you. other questions? Any other questions or comments or, or, or thoughts? Anyway, you can, you have my email. I'll write it here again. Um, if you have any questions later, you want to chat, uh, you want to know more about anything I have talked about, you are very welcomed. Uh, would love to hear from you. Yeah. So uh, do you have anything to add, Dina? That's it? Um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm very happy to have you uh, with us. Uh, joining us thank you so much um, in transformative technology i will add uh, you to the and send you to the, the mighty network as, as as i told you in order to engage with the global community and check the resources and thank you very much thank, thank you, you so much Rania, and thank you all so much thank you thank you bye all